Tuesday, my favorite day to look at real estate. I didn't shave for you, so I'm not that excited, but I am excited if you're trying to buy, if you're looking for a home on the bench and you are looking for opportunity, if you're trying to spot motivation, Tuesday is the day to see it. Now, I'm gonna do a little bit of work here on the bench. I'm gonna review Ada County. If you're looking for a home on the bench, great. If you're looking for a home outside of Boise, are these techniques, is this strategy gonna help you? Yes. Still a hot seller's market. If you watched my video from a couple days ago on my blog, the market's frothy, things are happening, but in general, inventory is still low. Sellers are getting top dollar, buyers have to be savvy. So how are you savvy? You start on Tuesday. Now, I zoomed in a little bit, so maybe you can read this. Normally I say you can't, but maybe you can. What I wanna show you here is this is the MLS. I've sorted by status. Now, when there's a status, like two of these are, of price change, it means it just happened. You'll see a couple of these statuses uh, or these homes have had price change, changes but are still active. Okay, that means the price has gone down. When the status is price change, that means it just happened. Okay, so Tuesday is the day to look for that. Two things are happening here. Number one, this house on Oahe just dropped $45,000. So is it enough? Yes. Is it a significant number to show up on new people's inboxes? Yes. It's 419, it's below what most people would consider the top end of 425, right? So if you're looking for 425 or 450, that's where you set your price alerts. So 419, you're in there, that's awesome. This is a big time opportunity on a beautiful street on the bench. Speaking of beautiful streets, Palouse is another one. This house is 450. It's had another price change. It actually started at 545. If you watch my earlier videos, you see me talking about Wow, did they drop it enough? No, they never did. And now they're chasing the market down. So note to sellers, if you're gonna to get top dollar, go for it. When the market tells you you're not getting top dollar, make a significant price reduction. Listen to the market, because the market is speaking, and I'll talk a little more about this, days on market in just a second. But in a hot seller's market, buyers are super active. And if your house isn't getting sold, it's not always price that's the problem, it's pretty much always price that's the solution. So the other thing that's important on Tuesdays is the other status that we have. We have new, so what does that mean? That means this house was just listed. They're not gonna wait until this weekend to accept an offer. They well, might be doing open houses this midweek, but if you see a house that's listed on a Tuesday, go to it, take a look, call me, I'll go show you, and you can write an offer. Because if you get a good offer on a Tuesday, they're gonna accept it that night. They might wait a day or two, but typically on a weekend, a reason a lot of people wait for the weekend to list is you can do Friday, Saturday, Sunday, response on Monday. It's a lot more time for sellers to get topped off. On Tuesday, that's motivation, go write it up. The other thing we see here are three homes that are coming soon. At a glance, uh, Pacific and Grover are awesome little streets. Empire Way and Pin Oak are uh, smaller and um, also super unique, great spots on the bench. If a house is coming soon, I can't show you. I can't go inside, but you can drive by. We can drive by together and see the outside. If the roof is good enough, if the outside looks okay and the neighborhood checks all the boxes, you can make an offer. Okay, I kind of joke that coming soon is the new active. And what that means is if a home is coming soon, you might need to jump. I sort of joke, like, if you don't have to buy this house today. No, you definitely don't. But if you want to buy this house, you have to buy it today. So coming soon is a preview. Usually that means it's coming soon this weekend. Sometimes it can be as many as a week or two away, but if you're gonna compete with all the buyers on a Friday, go check it out, coming soon. If it works for you, awesome. Now, here's something to know about these price changes. And we have limited data here on the bench, but 52 and 74 days on market. So something's happening there, right? Sellers were probably reluctant to drop the price. They waited a month or two, now they dropped the price. That's a bit unusual. Let's take a look here at the rest of Ada County. These are all the price changes in all of Ada County. So these are all over Meridian, Boise, et cetera. I'm gonna get down to like normal prices because these are all some million dollar plus homes. But when you get down to, here we are in the sixes, 400, 13, 32, 15, 19, 25, 12, 25, 10. It's about two or three weeks. Now that's really helpful for sellers to know. After the market has seen your house for a couple weeks, if you're not getting offers, it's time to lower the price more often than not. Now, if you're a buyer, what you wanna do is beat them to the price change. Here's one at six days, the one I just pointed at. That's hard to predict. 
But if you see a home that's been on the market for two or three days without a price reduction, that seller is going to consider a lower offer. They have to be. They're all dropping the price if it doesn't sell. So again, it's not their fault that they overpriced it or who knows, maybe it's a great house. Price is gonna be the solution. It's gonna be what get the houses themselves. So do the price reduction for them. If you're a savvy buyer and you see houses that you like and they're on the market for more than two or three weeks, go and pull off. Now that can be tough to wait. If you're patient and you find a house, is it my advice to wait on that house? No, if you see it, you may have to go in strong, especially opening weekend. Now today's Tuesday. That's the great thing about Tuesday, okay? You can see motivation. If you're going on a Friday or Saturday, you may have to go and swing really hard. But if a home is left over on the market on a Tuesday, they didn't get any offers over the weekend, that seller is gonna be freaking out, especially if it's the second or third or fourth Tuesday. I mean, they've had two, three weekends of open houses, not enough showings. Motivation. So you see a couple homes here. I'll just change this status to active. 54, 32, 26. Are these people considering open house, uh, price reductions? I don't know, but yes, they definitely are. Here's one at 900, 850, 75 days on market. Are they thinking about price reduction? Maybe they're not, but are they gonna consider a low offer? Yes. 19 days on market, Harbor Point Drive, great little spot. Are they considering a low offer? Go give it to them. The good houses that are priced well are still going quickly in this market. So if you see a house go, good luck, goodbye. If you see a house sitting, go get it. That's your market recap, that's your weekend recap. It's Tuesday, great day to look at real estate. I'll see you on Friday.